मैं बहुत बधाई देता हूँ जिन लोगों ने भी यह कल्पना सोची कि एक चाणक्य सेंटर फॉर स्ट्रेटेजिक स्टडीज का निर्माण करना चाहिए और उसके बाद उसका एक रेगुलर जर्नल भी प्रकाशित होना चाहिए मैं मानता हूं कि एक पहला पहला है ही स्ट्रेटेजिक स्टडीज का जो सेंटर बनना है और मैं बधाई देता हूं न केवल शेखर दत्त को लेकिन उनके साथ साथ जितने प्रमुख लोग जो किसी न किसी समय देश की सुरक्षा के साथ जुड़े हुए हैं किसी न किसी रूप में जुड़े हुए रहे हैं वे सब आज एकत्र होकर के और इस जर्नल के पहले पहले इशू के रिलीज के लिए मुझे आपने बुलाया है क्योंकि मैं पत्रकार रहा हूं मंत्रिमंडल में होने के कारण देश की सुरक्षा के साथ भी संबंधित रहा हूं और आज उसकी इस पहली पहली रिलीज के फंक्शन में मुझे बुला करके आपने एक प्रकार से मेरा सम्मान किया है और मुझे उन सब लोगों से भी मिलने का अवसर दिया है जिन्होंने इस पहले पहले इशू में कंट्रीब्यूट किया है मैं बहुत बहुत बधाई देता हूँ आप सभी को और विशेषकर शेखर दत्त को और उनके साथ साथ जिन लोगों ने ये स्ट्रेटेजिक स्टडीज के लिए ये चाणक्य सेंटर तैयार किया और उसके लिए पहली पहली जर्नल का पहला पहला इशू तैयार किया इट्स अ ग्रेट प्लेजर फॉर मी टू बी प्रेजेंट एट द रिलीज ऑफ दिस फर्स्ट इशू ऑफ द चाणक्य जर्नल और पहले ही बधाई किसी ने दी कि ये चाणक्य का चित्र भी बहुत अच्छा बनाया है और चाणक्य के फर्स्ट इशू पर इशू में जिन्होंने कंट्रीब्यूट किया है उनके भी उनको भी मैं बधाई देना चाहूँगा और आई थैंक द ऑर्गेनाइजर फॉर इनवाइटिंग मी टू दिस फंक्शन दिस इज द प्रेशियस मोमेंट फॉर मी एज आई नोट विथ ग्रेट सेटिस्फैक्शन दैट द मेन इंस्पिरेशन फॉर दिस एफर्ट came from the group of ministers recommendations which submitted its report in 2001 and was accepted by the cabinet the gom was constituted after the kargil conflict to review the national security system in its entirety and particular and in particular to consider the recommendations of the kargil review committee this was considered necessary in view of the recommendations of the Re kargil review committee that the proposed review should not be undertaken by an overburdened bureaucracy but by an independent body of credible experts the mandate of the gom was substantially wider than the kargil review committee the gom was inter alia required to review the national security system in its entirety and to formulate specific proposals for implementation the gom i noted had made about 350 recommendations for improving the preparedness to face challenges which are growing rapidly some of them were significant like a new intelligence wing for all the armed forces called defense intelligence agency a technical intelligence support agency called national technical research organization a new platform 
for intelligence sharing and coordination called main agency center <coughs> at the cent at the center <coughs> is also subsidiary multi agency centers in each state it also recommended improving the disaster relief management system at the borders one border one force principle was recommended for better accountability and each force was asked to have an intelligence wing of its own for operations for defense management we recommended a number of measures in view of our dynamic and rapidly changing security environment it was recommended that the ministry of defense mod needed to be suitably re restructured and strengthened the gom had also recommended closer integration of armed forces in the defense ministry it was suggested that the service headquarters should be designated as integrated headquarters of the mod the creation of chief of defense was also suggested to ensure the required jointness in the armed forces to balance efficiency and effectiveness at our planning process through intra and inter service prioritization to provide single point military advice to the government this recommendation has so far remain unimplemented i am particularly happy to see that shekhar dat has written a book that focuses on several topical issues shri dat has had long experience in defense matters he himself has served in the armed forces as defense secretary as also the national security advisor in the end i would like to say that while uh, this is an occasion for me to learn a lot which i had uh, not been directly dealing with when i was in government but today meeting all of you i feel that uh, our india which has had uh, several challenges in the past in so far as defense matters are concerned we should understand that the battlefield in the future will be vastly different from that of the past after all uh, it would be in a way non linear in 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 nature with real time surveillance integrated command control communications computer intelligence and information assets target acquisition and highly lethal precision weapons systems the future battlefield in our context is likely to be more digitized and transparent and would experience an exponential increase in the deployment of electronic devices signaling the growing primacy of the electromagnetic spectrum the future conflicts would be dominated by a wide variety of platforms and delivery systems with increased ranges and accuracy as well as terminally guided and precision guided munitions our current security scenario does not provide us any comfort india faces multiple and complex threats and challenges in its security from the land sea and air after all since independence five wars have been imposed on us four with pakistan and one with china many of the insurgencies faced by india have been fueled or drawn sustenance from abroad the emergence and non state terrorist actors like isis 
and the rise of the international influence is worrisome. Much of this activity is clandestine and outside the adopted international norms. It is these things that make the book produced by Shekhar Dutt very crucial, very important, particularly because the contribution made to the first issue of this journal and this book, as he calls it, is uh, by experts in, the, in all these fields, which I have mentioned, are likely to bother us in the future. The kind of uh, confrontations, the kind of uh, challenges that we are likely to confront, also give some opportunities which these experts can tell us how we can avail of for the security of the country. I the GEO had made, as I said, 350 recommendations. It's a huge number and uh, It is the it is the Chanakya studies that are going to help us in the future, and uh, I compliment Shekhar Dutt and all the distinguished uh, experts in this field present in this meeting for having uh, given me this opportunity of formally launching this first issue and Shekhar Dutt's book. Thank you very much.